drawing as an activity, whether it's for whatever reason, just the fact that you're doing it can add actual neurons, um, can actual synapses to your neurons. They've been shown in studies, people that draw when they're going through different types of therapy, especially traumatic or different things that have been holding them up. It's been shown that the act of drawing allows the brain to connect synapses that it might not have thought were important 20, 30 years in the past when it was first building them, connects them and all of a sudden they have these amazing memories. Any of you guys ever had an amazing experience and suddenly you had a wash of new memories, stuff that you forgot about in your past? That's what's going on is your synapses are going, ah, this must be important. Let's go back to file 43-6 and all of a sudden, God, I remember my grandpa yelled at me when I was dressed as an Easter egg. You know, it's just, you never know what's going to happen. By the way, the synapses that connect, I'm going through something that may seem absolutely nothing like drawing, but you will see how it does. I have here in red where you can't see, ride a bike, fix a flat tire, cook, play an instrument, communicate, use language, run a machine, start a business, read, learn a language. Those are all things that synapses connect to neurons that allow you to do. I know that there's a lot more complex way of explaining that, but in a nutshell, I think that does the job. So you may say, well, I don't have any talent for drawing. Do you guys understand that there's really no species requirement for drawing? <laughs> Zoos make lots of money on these things. So there's no reason why you can't enjoy the act of drawing. That I believe is Ruby. That was our old Phoenix Zoo elephant. That isn't a Photoshop. That's something that the elephant painted. Okay, I found all kinds of other cute 